dearly beloved, good morning. I hope that the grace of God has found us again. And praise be to his holy name that we are alive. I rejoice together with you because I know that our God is faithful and he will continue to do his work. Just as I always come to your home with this morning break, today to by his grace, we are back. Shall we go to the word of God in the book of Joshua chapter 2 verse 11. And it reads, And as soon as we heard these things, our hearts melted. Neither did there remain any more courage in anyone because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and the earth beneath. Praise the Lord. For the Lord our God he is the God above and also the God beneath. These were the words of Rahab, an inhabitant of Canaan. God has sent forth his children and has given them an inheritance, the land of Canaan. And the people were afraid because of the people, the giants, the great people, how powerful their armies were. And uh, so they don't want to venture. But hardly did, did they know that even those inhabitants, their heart has already melted. This morning, as a child of God, you are very special. There are some things you want to do. You are thinking about, how am I going to do? Who is going to help me? I want you to know that God has already gone ahead of you and he has given you the victory. He has given you the surprise. He has given you the ability to overcome, the ability to get it done. The Bible says that when the spies went to the land, Rahab told them that you, you don't know, you are coming to spy. But the truth about the matter is this. Everyone from the king to the armies and everyone, our hearts are meted. I, I this morning, Go ahead and do whatever the Lord has laid upon your heart. Because before you reach there, God has already gone there. Don't allow any situation to hinder you. Sometimes it's only fear that hinders us from venture into many blessings that God has opened for us. I am here to assure you that we serve a living God who always go ahead of us to give us victory and to cause us to win. So go ahead, don't be afraid, and say to yourself, even before I reach there, God has already done it for me. And in order for, maybe I can kind of say, Rahab, or catch Israel for a so-called spy, because I don't know how to do it, but I say, I don't to do Na ye din kugro da dampo. Ye unhu manim en su ye din kugro. Bibi biara nya media po akuma so a pesa wye ni tiana mon ne ko esan se or tam fro na kuma bubu dada. Yesu Christ e din kunim amao. Tiana mon ensu e du bebi e busas and hwa na bebwa ye ya hu din wen ye mu e fio su sri nyan kupon. Ya hu din fri nya me hon konkno. Wo di hane se tiana mon. So an ope ube sorry no tiana mon. No one jeer this old young coupon can one queen in the bay of Odia or say, Ya tea muhua semno, ya kumen yina botu, ya kuman nan, a huan shay ma, na ya hun se, mu o nyan coupon or you nyan coupon was sorrow, not so nyan coupon was as he so. We serve the living God. He is the God in heaven and He is the God upon this earth. Our God is always with us and He will for always win our battle for you. Don't be afraid. Go ahead, whatever you want to do, the Lord is with you. This morning, shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have told us not to be afraid, but to go forward. Just as you told Moses, what are you standing there for? Move. And the Bible says that when Moses moved, Red Sea parted into two. This morning, may you strengthen us that we have faith to move so that whatever 
whatever you, we have set before us, we will be able to win. May that happen to a brother or a sister, somebody that is hearing me this morning. In Jesus' name.